short ball, grab and moves back and pulls fiercely past square leg. So this is Trick. Victory to the Australians by eight wickets. He's got it. Got it. Brown, he's got two. Beautifully caught. He's done it. I must tell you uh, that Sri Lanka cricket at this moment in time, uh, I don't think uh, it is going in the way, the direction it should be going. Uh, especially with a set of Muppets, basically, and uh, headed by a joker. Explosive comments at the Gabba yesterday evening from Marvin Atapattu, the former Sri Lankan captain. Here he is arriving at the ground this morning. He was rushed into this tour party at short notice. He clearly doesn't think that he's properly prepared. He's heavily critical of uh, administration, of management, of the chairman of selectors and of the selectors themselves. Let's hear the rest of his press conference yesterday evening. I must tell you uh, that Sri Lanka cricket at this moment in time uh, I don't think uh, it is going in the way, the direction it should be going, uh, especially with a set of Muppets, basically, and uh, headed by a joker. I don't realize, I don't uh, give credit to uh, in uh, the way that they have handled things. If they have handled things well uh, at this moment in time, I think we should have a good backup. For some reason, we don't have. And at the age of 37, 38, people have to come and play for Sri Lanka when it comes to tough tours like this. If three guys are controlled by a, by a joker, uh, and these guys are coming out of, down of one, one door saying, uh, we have agreed, put, put right people in place. Sri Lanka's coach Trevor Bayliss is the man in the middle. He denies it's a touring team in crisis. Oh, look, it's a very happy camp. Um, yeah, absolutely no problems there at all. The, the guys love having a joke and a mucking around in the uh, in the dressing rooms, and, and you know it's a very happy uh, ha happy group, as I said. So, uh, look, selections. It's a lot. Uh, it's a lot different system, I suppose, that, to what I'm used to um, here in Australia. Um, but look, that's a system they've been working under for a while. Whether that needs to be changed, I mean, that's only something they can uh, they can work out for themselves. Back home, Adapadu's comments are sure to ignite a cricket mad nation. What Marvin has said is actually it's, it's everything that he has said yesterday at the press conference is uh, actually is true. And uh, someone has to come out and say, the media has been saying all these things, but uh, when it comes out from a former uh, captain and a senior cricketer as that, I mean actually it puts the lid on it. Thanks to uh, Tim Gilbert for putting that together. Mark Taylor and Chapel with me. Uh, an amazing 16 or so hours. Uh, Marvin Adepato, he definitely wants change. Um, e even from a journalistic point of view, uh, the papers have been singing the change for years. It hasn't happened. Has he put his career basically on the line to get that change in? Well, I think he's, uh, he probably figured that his career was over and, and he perhaps feels that he hasn't got a lot to lose. Uh, he may also uh, be working on the same theory that I think Imran Khan had. Uh, they called him Captain Chaos. He seemed to create a bit of chaos in the Pakistan side, which wasn't a difficult thing to do, and they played better. It certainly worked here at the, at the Gabba today. Meeting the sandwich, Trevor Bayliss, the uh, Shrankin coach, Toby, you, you spoke to him this morning. That, uh, he, he said, look, their system, he's not used to it, and it's too early for him to put his hand up and say there has to be change. Yeah, and Trevor certainly wasn't running away from the, uh, from the situation either. I asked him if I could have a chat with him. He said, yeah, no problem. And there is no problem in the change rooms. And I, I think he's probably right. And from what we're seeing today, he may well be right. There seem to be a problem in the camp. There's no doubt that Marvin Adepad are getting right towards the end of his career, a career which he may well have thought before this tour. He wanted to make a statement. He, he feels there needs to be something done about the way his sides are selected or chosen in... Um, in Sri Lanka and he thought well I might not get another chance I'm going to Hobart next week if I don't do well I won't do a press conference so while I'm doing a press conference I want to get this off my chest. Yeah, what, what do you do as the skipper of a touring side you, you both have have had that experience what now happens how, how do you keep that that dressing room up surely it's got to have some effect on players in that room. Yeah, well, I mean, you called Trevor Bayliss the meat in the sandwich. I think it's poor old Mahala. He's got the problem because as the captain, you're the guy who's got to have the team spirit together. Now, I mean, he may well agree with what uh, Marvin has said, and it may be that uh, it is the spur that's, uh, that has got them, you know, that has got them going. But I do feel a bit sorry for Mahala. I mean, 
I think one of the first things I did before my first tour to England, in talking to the guys, I said, look, fellas, if you've got a problem, come and see me. I don't want four guys here and another three guys here all whispering to each other. If you've got the problem, come and see me. And, you know, um, it is, it's very difficult for Mahala. That's, he's the guy that I feel sorry for. It, it must have been hard for Mahala, though, going into this whole summer mm. when at one stage he had a team mm. that got changed by, well, from my understanding, from the sports manager saying that adipatu has got to play. That can't be easy, too, when you, you're getting on the plane leaving Colombo and all of a sudden your side's changing almost in front of you. So that can't be easy. And that's probably why I reckon Marvin Adapadu said what he did say, yeah. because he, he doesn't want that situation to happen for the good of Sri Lankan cricket. And, I mean, and the other problem that you see with Mahala has got, he's, you know, he's got these young guys like um, Taranga and Van Doort and, um, and Mubarak, and he's, he's sort of bringing them into the team and trying to build them up to to be the next generation and suddenly he gets a 37 year old uh, basically foisted on him and and it, it does sort of indicate that Marvin doesn't really want to be there that, but Mahala's got to sort of placate the younger guys and say you know we are trying to move forward. Is that too much of a problem to be managed or does that a Padu go home? It's a tough one, isn't it? Um, I don't think, Mah I don't think uh, Marvin's all that concerned. I think if he goes home he'd say that's fine because it he, he obviously feels this is his last chance anyways. That's why he's made the comments. Look, I think it'd be nice if he didn't go home. I think because it'll only make more, even more news out of this, the quicker that, from Sri Lanka's cricket's point of view, that they can just squash this, get it handled and move on, the better. By sending him home, it'll only, it will only escalate, particularly back at home in Sri Lanka. Just really quickly, chaps, stay or go out of pity. No, I think uh, stay. And, I mean, the best thing they can do is draw this test match. That'll, that'll help solve a lot of the problems. Okay, on a brighter note, uh, we're going to have our...